right, so this is a tour of my 1986 Toyota Dolphin. A lot of work has been put into restoring this thing from the ground up. Um, starting with the seats, these are the original seats that were in the Dolphin, uh, but we took them to an upholstery shop. We put in this diamond quilted trim there and then around the floor. You can see it's the very desirable four speed with the 22 RE. I've added a tachometer, which is really important to know, especially when you're climbing uphill. Um, this is the original light that was there, which is kind of dim. So you can see the, the top was reupholstered as well. And then we added in this brighter light. Uh, there is the center console that's been added on. And then finally, I've added in a touchscreen radio. It does have Apple CarPlay. If you're backing up, you can see where you're going, which is really super handy to have. If you do want to hear the engine run, you can go ahead and show that. running very well. Um, the outside is all original. We've put a lot of work into restoring it and cleaning it up, but we didn't want to paint it. We wanted to keep it, you know, how it was from the factory, just because it has a cool look. Also, it blends in a bit more. So you have a nice big storage area, garage area here, the original jack. And then here, these two compartments, originally the battery would be here and then the shore power hookup would be here. But over on the side here, new water heater. Uh, which is nice. The original one, you have to go outside and manually light it. This one's all automatic. It runs on propane. And then another great upgrade that I did was a, this was the original furnace, which was um, propane. Um, we've added in a diesel heater. So this is the air intake for that. You can see the exhaust coming out here. And then right under the exhaust is the, um, the, waste tank overflow so there's uh, that one and then the freshwater one do so it has the cool original dolphin logo and then over in the back we could see very nice pretty clean um, you could see 55 miles per hour max I was actually surprised this gets up to 70 miles an hour very easily on the highway you could see the backup camera with the cool original dolphin logo uh, ladder to get up I can show very quickly the roof. You can see we have 150 watts of solar. All of the vents have been replaced. We have the propane. Oh, uh, the fridge was replaced. They used to have a propane or 12 volt fridge. And I just have this uh, to protect it a bit, but you can see this was the original propane, but now it's all electric. This is your fuel door. And then you have your water fill up. So let's send the fill up. Go ahead and open that up. Fill up your water in there. The crown jewel of this whole rig is the inside. And I'm really excited to show it to everybody. So opening up here. So this is kind of the pantry. You can see lots and lots of space for all of your food over here I have this vinyl stick on flooring and then there's carpet on top that flooring goes all throughout on this side is the oven and stove which is immaculate uh, the oven and stove are both propane um, they're both manual lights so you have to light it with a match or a lighter but works very well and the stove and the stove top have all been replaced or lots of space in here so showing the stove we've added on this stick on tile as well and uh, there's the original vent hood and fan with the light and everything and then over above the door is a spice rack so um, very space efficient lots of storage in here I'll just open that up for more light. 
over on the top you can see all the shelves have been painted and then we added this for nice decoration here is your control panel so this is for the water pump uh, and then these are your monitors for all the different systems Lots of storage up in here. So we have one, two, and then there's room behind there. This is really cool. It's the original clock that was on there. We were able to save it. I just, I replaced the clock itself. So it's, it's working fine now and um, it's keeping the time and everything, but you can still get that original look and it really fit in with this, this background. Two sinks, sure. Uh, the faucet has been replaced. I. I We'll show a bit more with the faucet system in just a second, but I really like this. It's like you can point it to exactly where you want it to go. And then it has cold and hot water. And then um, I added this ratcheting paper towel holder so it doesn't go flying around. The paper towels don't go flying around as you're driving. They stay put. Super nice to have. Um, the kind of party trick with this, so you could remove it just like so. Down here. I'm including this nice sprayer hose. And so what you do is you go attach that on, very easy to do, and then you have a sprayer. So as you're walking in, you can spray off, rinse off your feet. And then final parts of this, like I said, lots and lots of storage. So there's three drawers. Then down here, is a storage area and then here's a storage area so lots of space we have a microwave which again is run by your batteries which is nice to have uh, these outlets also run by your battery uh, you have two 12 volt outlets so um, you can charge whatever you want there uh, this you can charge your your phone or whatever if you want to lay it in that little cubby and then inside lots and lots of space um, you can fit a whole gallon jug of milk, actually two side by side. And then. so you can see here, uh, there is a waterproof toilet paper holder. Up here is a vent. Another light up here. Um, this is the sink slash shower. So um, this is one of those efficient air showers. So. It uses very little amount of water. You can control the flow on and off with that switch. Uh, this comes out, there's a, a track, a curtain track all around. So uh, as you're showering, you pull that that uh, shower curtain out, roll it around you. And then this is a water, a wet bath. So this is all waterproof. Uh, you could take your bath in there and then there's a drain. And then finally, there's the toilet, which also has been replaced. Really easy to use. There's instructions there. It's all clean. Um, your water heater, this is the on switch. Let's turn that on. It takes about 30 minutes to get it to hot. And then I forgot how many gallons it is. I believe five or six gallons. This was also replaced, this water heater. Over on the top here, there is your max air fan. Um, it has a remote, so you can turn it on and have your fan going as well. You can see lots and lots of room. So I have these hangers and then there is for hanging individual things on racks. There's a little mirror there with little hangers. so. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there, especially if you get one of those like shoe holder things, you can maximize your space. More space, more space here. You can see there's this vent. Uh, this is for a diesel heater. Like I said, there used to be a propane heater and I replaced that, which was the best choice I've ever made. You can kind of see it in there, fit in real nicely. Um, I'll show more of it later. But the controls for that are over by the living room couch here. So you can turn it on, you hold down the power button and uh, choose your heat setting and it's all automatic through there. Uh, starting here with the couch, uh, you can see um, very nice area. So again, this motif has been coming through. 
lot of storage in here as well as on the other side more storage so yeah space for everything you might need then this couch area all these windows slide open these couches were um custom made um there's a seller at amazon you just send the dimensions and it's three inch thick memory foam so it's super comfy there's a table uh this i just found that goodwill cleaned it up and then attached it to this table base and so you could see with the table base uh there's a spot here to put it a spot here and then if you want you can move it out of the way into that area there is a tv as you can see and this comes whoops this comes and swivels out bring it closer to yourself point it to where you want uh, this is the sound system so you can see it's a surround sound there's these two main speakers as well as by the couch area there's this speaker and that speaker finally down here uh, you could see more of this upholstery this quilted material running in um, this is kind of a storage area so if you have a system hooked up to the tv you have a place to store it here is an access panel for uh, all of the electronics in there you could see this powers this 12 volt outlet as well as this outlet um, this is also nice this is a sentry safe um lots of space in there all of these are really nice storage cubbies you can have all your stuff in there there's these footrests that are also storage space so and then finally a large storage area back here but originally this had a very small it was less than a twin or maybe a twin size mattress um and i actually extended out this area so you could see everywhere from here beyond over here a little night area so you can have your tissues lotions whatever you need for your night stuff uh, this is your battery monitor so you could see uh, your battery level uh, this is again the turn on for the inverter power so down here is some more plugins once you turn that on and then this area could be curtained off and this is the bedroom so like i said full-size mattress there's two lights they're pointable and then you can hold down to make it brighter and hold it down to make it dimmer or tap it to turn it off and then each one has outlets so you could charge your usb devices you could see with this and then sort of the system I made with uh, the these windows, um, you can have, it's kind of a multi-tier system. So first of all, you can close them up like so. You could spread out this transparent panel so you can have some light coming in, but still have some privacy. You could completely open it up, have the window open. There are blackout panels. I've left one up just as a demonstration. You could see they have little clasps. What you do is you clasp it into place and you have a full blackout panel. So nobody right above you, I've replaced this vent as well. This one isn't power operated for settings. So you can blow air out. All of the lights above have been replaced with these ones. You can turn them on with the push of a button. There's lights here all around. I've added in this little dimmable light. So I'm gonna turn on by twisting it. And as you twist it more and more, it adds more power. It does use a bit of power, so I wouldn't recommend having it all the way up, but that creates a nice little glowing effect all around. Looks especially just for that extra bit of privacy. You can see section off the bedroom. All right, so last part, as you can see, I've removed the couch cushions and everything. So this is the fuel tank for your diesel heater. 
So this is the line that's going to the tank itself. You could see this is a quick release system. So all you do is undo that, and set it aside over there. And that allows you to just remove this tank and then fill it up nice and easy. Um, but this fuse panel controls more stuff like the fuel pump as well as um, like the diesel heater, the water. This panel has your three batteries. So it has 300 amp hours of AGM batteries. And then there's a huge storage area that's kind of for maybe the stuff that you use less. And this final panel also has a pull. This final panel, you can see this is where that pass-through was, uh, but this is the other side of the brains of everything. So you have your 1500 watt inverter, all of the fuses. So that is the tour of our Toyota Dolphin. Hope you've enjoyed it.